Hello, I'm Kayvon Stassen, Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Vanderbilt University, where I also serve as the director of the Frist Center for Autism and Innovation. Today I would like to share with you about the work we're doing at the Frist Center to support neurodiverse learners, including especially autistic students, to gain research experiences in astronomy and meaningful employment opportunities. To begin, I'd like to share a brief video about a significant astronomical discovery that was made using a novel method for data visualization developed by a neurodiverse team here at Vanderbilt. Now, during this past year, we've all had to learn uh, how to work in new ways during COVID. Uh, and this was Im important, especially um, as a, that as a community, we learn how to mentor and support our students, uh, including our neurodiverse students. Uh, and so I wanna share with you some of the lessons that we've learned this past year that we will continue to apply going forward. During normal times, we run a research internship program in person uh, with on-site coaches for social skills We've also launched an interdisciplinary PhD program that we call Neurodiversity Inspired Science and Engineering, through which graduate students, both neurodiverse and neurotypical, pursue research projects that lead to innovations to support or are inspired by uh, neurodiversity and neurodiverse people and ways of thinking. In addition, we've partnered with major international companies such as Ernst & Young to place our interns into great jobs after graduation for those who wish to take their astronomy research training into the private or corporate sector. During COVID, we had to implement some new types of supports as everyone worked in remote or hybrid environments. These included regular check-ins on Zoom with a coach to discuss progress, to get advice on managing time and workloads, and mental health. A social worker has been available as needed for emotional and psychological support. And we've also used the challenges of COVID of the COVID experience to elevate autistic voices and to develop new tools. For example, we started a monthly webinar series featuring our autistic staff and interns, discussing, for example, the challenges of COVID or discussing neurodiversity from a global perspective, including autistic researchers from around the world. Here's a short sampling of these webinar discussions. I'd like to thank the Frist Center for Autism and Innovation for inviting me to present today. We've all been hearing the headlines, um, you know, that COVID um, increases social isolation. It affects our minds and our bodies. It increases loneliness. 
what I'm going to talk about is right now many people who are not on the autism spectrum are being impacted by social isolation, but in ways that are facing individuals who are on the spectrum um, every day of their adult lives. How can we like gain empathy here to promote understanding and acceptance of autistic people? I prefer to stay home. I prefer to stay on my computer. I do socialize, uh, particularly I, I love to play games with a very small select group of very close friends, and that's quality time for me. For the rest of that time, I'm alone. I don't really want to interact with people. Most of the time, it just feels like it would be exhausting to me. Finally, we've used our experience to create an online self-guided tool for learning how to set and pursue goals that autistic and other neurodiverse people can use for their own professional development. It's available at the web address shown at the upper right of the slide, triad.vkclearning.org. With these tools, uh, as well as the webinar uh, series uh, that I showed on the previous slide as an example, um, as the world moves on uh, from COVID, hopefully soon, uh, we're finding that the, the quality of the community building, the global community building that's happening as a result, um, uh, it has encouraged us to continue to develop these tools, to make them available, uh, and to um, to continue to bring the community together for discussion, for mutual support and learning. In closing, I'd like to leave you with a vision for self-determination and confidence that we use in our work with all of our neurodiverse learners to envision a positive future. Thank you so much for your attention. You can learn more at this uh, web address uh, from the First Center for Autism and Innovation, access our tools uh, and access additional information uh, that can uh, allow you uh, to support your autistic and other neurodiverse uh, students and um, happy to be in contact with anyone who's interested. Thank you again.